Hey guys, we're almost done with this vlog. So I told you that Hissy had a home. Well, it wasn't Hissy that the couple wanted. They want the one that looks like Izzy, the big one, which is the one that Robert and I love. We, you know, she's so playful and cute and she's really just done a 360. So anyway, she is actually ready to go tomorrow. And so she is going to meet and go to her new family tomorrow, which is going to be hard for me and Robert. Um, so we're going to spend some time with Hissy and with the big the big one and um, the little one-eyed guy. He seems to be doing better. He's actually starting to play today. I'm getting ready to go upstairs and check on them and give them dinner. And, um, and then when Robert gets here, we're switching cats. So we're going to take them over, say our goodbyes to little Gizzy Jr. girl. And we are going to pick up the orange cat and the black and gray cat. I'm going to take some pictures for my mom to see if my mom wants the orange cat. It's kind of weird because my mom wants the orange cat. My dad doesn't want the orange cat. Like my dad's got two cats and he doesn't want any more. He didn't even want the two he has. Those two kittens were from the same alley. I think you guys remember if you watch my vlogs. Their names are Russian Ruby now. And um, Russian Ruby have really attached myself to my dad. And when my mom and dad's cat died, the cat was orange with white paws, and that's what this little cat has. And my mom wants this cat because she really just wants Mickey. And I said, Mom, this isn't going to replace Mickey. But she said, well, the other two cats are attached to your dad. I want my own. I want my own cat. So she really wants a cat. My dad doesn't. I don't know what's going to happen. If she does take them or they take the orange kitty, we will foster the orange kitty for quite some time until they can get down here and get the baby. It could be five months or so. Um, the little gray guy... I think also has a home, but he's not ready to go yet. He's he's still in healing. He, we're still working with him. Um, so Hissy needs a home. I'm going to be posting these on my um, regular Facebook page, posting pictures and Instagram, and we want to make sure they go to good homes. Hissy's not ready to go yet, so I'm kind of glad they're taking the other kitty. The other kitty's respiratory infection is cleared up. Hissy's is still there. She's starting to feel better, but she's got a couple more days on antibiotics. And uh, we don't have enough to split the antibiotics because we're sharing it amongst the other animals. Anyway, I'm going to get some more footage of these little guys and then I'll do some footage of the two that you guys haven't seen yet. And then we will end this vlog and we will do a new one tomorrow. We'll start new tomorrow. So I will see you guys in a little bit with the kitties. All right, it's feeding time. We got the big guy. This is the, this is the baby that's going. Our little one-eyed guy who's not anywhere near. He's still the thinnest and the least healthy. He's still the weakest of them all, but he is playing. I mean, considering he got picked up for surgery, what's today, Friday? I think we picked him up, I don't know, Wednesday or Thursday from surgery. And that is Hissy, who's chewing on the food over there. Um, this guy, I'm going to try him with a little bit of hard food today. I think he's he's for sure ready. It, she might be ready too. What do you? Well, she's spitting her food out. Um, <clears throat> I just have this like blanket thing here that we've been using, so they're not like you know getting on our bed or butt. Um, they're hungry. Um, I noticed we're out of baby milk. This was the last little bit of uh, kitty cat milk. They really don't need it. Your piggies, let the little guy eat it. You, he, that one eats all of the food, and this poor little guy wants the milk. And he needs it more because it's got a lot of nutrition. This one should be on just water, but she likes the milk better. And this one doesn't usually drink much milk. He drinks, they both drink water, both of them. And this one drinks, it wants the milk. Oh, you think that her food is somehow better? Oh, well, get, just get your foot right in there, baby. Um, it's exactly the same food. So, yeah, there's, see, there's not much milk left. They like the milk. Uh, we're going to have to go buy another can. That milk is $24 per can, and they drank it all. We're out, and we got to go get more because we have two more babies that are smaller than all of these that are going to be there tonight. So um, i got to make sure he don't jump. He, he's not uh, – I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. He can't see but out of the one eye anyway. He's Don't look at my dirty pile of laundry over there. How's your eye doing, Buster? Looks good. Looks good. So, all right. Well, I'm going to love on these guys for a little bit, and then uh, you guys will see the other kitties this evening.
I have a huge list to get done today. And as you can see, one item is crossed out. So what I'm doing now, um, you guys know we have the kitties. Um, that vlog should be going up hopefully today. You'll see this one next week, but I have to go to Petco. Last night we didn't make it in time and I have to pick up kitten formula because really one kitty needs formula still, maybe two. Um, I tried to order antibiotics online from my friend the rescuer. She told me where I could get them. And I ordered them, everything went through, they took my money, and then a couple hours later they said, hey, we're sorry, we've got, um, we're not gonna have your antibiotics until the following week, do you wanna wait? And I'm like, well, I might as well just get them because we always have kittens. And um, I, I, I'm I, going over to the shelter today and she's got some antibiotics to get me through till mine come in. I've gotta go pick up some prescriptions like birth control <laughs> and my blood pressure pills, and I've gotta pick up dog food. I can do it all, all that at Target. And I gotta go to the post office. My son leaves for Korea. He's in Alabama right now. He leaves on Thursday for Alabama, or for Korea, and I have a gift for TJ, and just a little something for my son. Um, I just, just a little kind of like a comforting gift that I'm giving him. And then I've gotta film a video for Nordstrom, um, which I'm partnering with Magic Links on, which is really cool. That has to get done today. Um, I am going to do a Jen Loves review with the lipstick, the changing lipsticks that she has. Um, and I have a giveaway for that one. I have a Glamour jewelry box and a Stitch Fix. That all has to be done this weekend. So I'll probably split and do two videos today, two bit videos tomorrow. Then I have to clean out the closet in the bathroom or in Mackenzie's new room upstairs because we did the flooring, but the closet's not done. So Robert is going to finish the closet floor, but I have to clean it out. All that stuff has to go up in the attic. I have to trim her, her, all the trim needs to be repainted white and I have to paint her walls and get her bed set up all by tomorrow. I need tomato cages because we have some tomatoes, which this whole area needs maintenance and I need to like clean it and de-weed it and stake and put the tomato cages up around four or five of them and buy some garden soil and compost. I planted a couple little in little weird spots, the Jackby little pumpkins, and I'm gonna check them today. I don't know if they popped out of the ground. I think I just did it a few days ago. And we've had a lot of rain and sun, so they may have germinated and popped up. We'll have to check them out together later. So I'm gonna get going, get on the run here, get my stuff done so I can come back and have energy still left to do all the stuff that needs to be done here. But we're gonna get the errands done first. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, I have got the, I'm done back from the post office. Oops, I don't know where to hold this. I'm back from the post office and I went to the pet store. The kittens are making such a mess with the food. So it's like a silicone mat to put their food dish on. And then we got um, more formula. And this little, I don't know if you guys can hear it because the thing, it makes bird noises because they're starting to play. And then the dogs are feeling a little bit left out. So I got them these, a thing of homemade um, treats. They're, they've got peanut butter in them, which both dogs love. So two things down on the list. I'm now heading over to Target to pick up my medicine and dog food. And then I have to go pick up antibiotics. These, these animals have probably cost us two to $300 this week alone, and I don't have the money, so I'm really like, my savings is almost zilch right now, so I have to I have to figure something out. Uh, but we gotta do it. Alright, I'll be back in bed. <laughs> she hisses every time. <laughs> and that is why you're named Hissy. Are you tired, pumpkin? Are you tired? Oh, you're you reaching up being sweet. Oh, look at her, Robert. She's sheepy. Oh. <laughs> Are you going to get in the water? Are you going to get in the water, honey bunches? You want to take a bath? You going to get in there? I'll tell everybody you like taking baths with mommy because you're a weird cat. You're such a weird little kitty cat. Yes, you are. Oh, you love all the head rub. All right, guys.
guys. I'm on my lunch break. I figured I'd come in and tell you. I got a couple of candles from Jewel Scent. They came out with some Summerline stuff. And they actually just came out with um, some stuff for um, like citronella. Like citronella candles. And so I have this candle here, which is Pineapple Pear Blossom. I cannot wait to smell all of these. Sometimes I like to light them on the porch um, outside where the fumes aren't going to smoke up the black. Well, I can't get this one out. This one's called Walking on Sunshine. And this one is Southern Magnolia. Ooh, I bet that smells good, too. I'm trying to do things with one hand. Ooh, okay, and then I've been waiting and waiting and waiting. My Pampered Chef, it, I ordered in like, I don't know, end of June or something. It's taken like forever to get to me. They really got hit hard with COVID. So just an FYI, if you're ordering from Pampered Chef, it is going to take a while to get your things. I don't even remember what I ordered anymore. That's literally how long it's been. All right, so this is just filler. This looks like my sheet of what maybe what I ordered and I thank you. Okay, so here's what I ordered. I ordered a pretzel dough mist, mini oven mitts, hot pad and trivet, season's best recipe collection, pizza crust mix, large bar pan, which hasn't shipped. So <laughs> I don't have my, the main thing I ordered. So this is the large trivet. I just ordered little, little stuff and it ended up being $100 for my order. So. This looks like, hold on, let me unpack everything. Okay, so this plus a large bar pan that didn't come in cost me a hundred bucks. That's ridiculous. I was trying to help out a friend who, anyway, long story short. These are, there's two of them in here, but these are grippers for you. <laughs> they look like a shark. <laughs> anyway, um, there's two of them and they're stuck together. I got a pretzel dough mix. I thought these would be fun to do with the boy, with my daughter and son and my and my fake husband Robert. Um, anyway, I got two pizza crust mix. They sent me two of these. These may have been a free gift. This season's best mealtime wins. And then I also got a trivet, a large trivet, which we always need. So I'm waiting on the bar pan. I'm hoping that this has some some good recipes. And oh, that looks good. Spicy. Oh, they're cauliflower. I was thinking that was shrimp salad chicken salad these look like pretty easy recipes mac and cheese thai coconut soup chicken parmesan looks interesting what are these enrichables your dish is more nutritious all right so this will be fun to kind of look through and see if there's any good maybe good recipes in here here's sure air fryer coconut shrimp i think we do have an air fryer yeah, so this will be fun to kind of look through this and see if there's any good good stuff in there. But just wanted to share with you that is what I got from Pampered Chef for my $100. Um, I'm most excited about the thing that's still going to take another three weeks to come in, which is the large bar pan. I'll show that to you when it comes in. Hey guys, I have a sleeping baby kitty. This is one that my mom and dad may take. Let me see if I can show you without disturbing. You might be able to hear them. Oh, I can't. There, can you see him? He's just purring away. He's a little boy. Right now we're calling him Little Red. Sorry, cut my hair. And, um, it looks really bad. And, um, he's got a little sore on his tail, so we're treating it with some antibiotics, but. He's the sweetest little cat. Either way, this guy has a home. So my mom lost an orange cat that was just like this that she had for years and years, Mickey. And then she took two of the cats, which she named Rush and Ruby, and they're wild, crazy cats. And anyway, they attached themselves to my dad because I think my mom really wasn't ready to love another cat. And she loves them, but they drive her nuts. They're crazy. They're crazy cats. And this one is such a love bug, and he looks almost just like Mickey. He was orange with white paws and that's how this one is. So I think my mom's going to take him, but if she doesn't, she's going to let me know in a couple days on Saturday. If she doesn't, um, Robert has somebody that he spoke with that just lost an orange cat and really wants an orange kitten So and is our age. So regardless, this little guy is going to go to a great home. Selfishly, I want him to go to my mom and dad, but only because I can see him again if they do, if they take him. Oh, and he just like Earlier I was holding him up with one arm and I went to pull him away and he clung to me. He just didn't want me to put him down. He's so cute. 
I also want to give you guys an update on little one eye which patch stitch we're not sure what his name is we think he has a home as well the I have some concerns a little bit of concerns about the home only because there's a bunch of dogs and I, I think one I really should be in a home with no other animals but um, I do know he would be in a good home in this family I'm just a little nervous about him being with the animals are small but I don't you know he's really frightened of nitro like this little dog or dog this little guy little we're calling him little red he is fine with an, a house with a dog he's not even doesn't seem bothered unless nitro gets right up in his face because nitro gets nitro's like a nanny to the cats he protects all of them and he gets up to them and he goes Loop, and he licks them all and you guys i know you guys all love nitro but nitro loves the kittens and he'll stand by them and just like watch over them it's the most precious thing and he even as as you know the cats that we own have gotten older they love nitro they all love nitro they don't like chopper but chopper like tries you know chopper's tolerating them he knows he's not allowed to touch them but he doesn't want to be bothered with them nitro actually likes the cats and the cats all like rub up on nitro and oh it's precious and this little guy here my mom doesn't have any dogs but if she did well they have we've had so many dogs but if she did this little guy would be fine oh my god let me show you what he's doing hold on watch watch what he, he likes his um he likes his little chinny chin to be rubbed is that not the sweetest little thing you've ever seen like i said he does have he's a strong little kitten today he ate big boy food they've been on soft food and i've been weaning them off the milk and making it more and more water and they've been eating pate food, which is expensive. They went through like so many freaking cans. They're little monster feeders. It's like they've never, I think they were starving out there. And um, they were all skin and bones. But this guy's a little fat, so he's got big belly on him. He ate good today. And he, I think he's about five weeks old. But he ate, uh, look at those little paws. He ate big boy food. He ate, he ate hard food today and he did really good with it. And... He um he poops and pees in the litter box. And he's just a good little kitten. Like the minute you pick this little guy up, he just starts purring. He's going to be such a good baby for somebody. I think this cat would be therapy for my mother. And he's got little white paws. Um all four of his little paws are white. Look at that. So sweet. I hope you guys don't mind all the little animal footage. I know most of you guys are all animal lovers too. And this this little guy is playful. He's real playful and sweet. So you want to say hello to everybody? And his eyes are blue. I, he's not going to open his eyes. Look at that little white streak um, on his nose. His eyes are actually blue, but they're turning green. So I'm pretty sure he's going to have green eyes. He's a beautiful, beautiful baby cat. So and a sweet one he's a sweet baby hey guys i just finished filming my cat mcgrath i look for you and it started pouring so i have my coffee out here but i just want to turn the camera and show you my little porch my flowers flowering can it's, if I start getting wet, I'm going in, but it's beautiful right now. It's just a big rainstorm. Listen to that. I am going to sit outside, finish my coffee, my friends, and enjoy the rainstorm. It's so soothing, so I'm going to enjoy it. Hey guys, so I mentioned to you that I was trying out a product that I got um, free from Octoly, and it's called the Better Not Younger Wake Up Call. I got the shampoo, well this is the conditioner, the shampoo, they sent full size bottles out, and the Better Not Younger hair mask. and. The set of the mask is, um, to, or for the three products, three full-size products is $54. I'm gonna have the link down below for you guys. But I, I mentioned it in my 
I think my last vlog, but I wanted to wait into until I could report back to you guys what I really thought of the product before we, you know, giving you my review. So what I will tell you is, so you guys know I've been having some issues with my hair. Uh, my hair has been falling out. It's been thin. It's been brittle. It's breaking. It's just not the beautiful hair I have always had. And so when I saw that Octoly had this program, this actually targets hair that for women that are over 40, I believe it's for, yeah, 40 or older. And the first couple of times I used it, I don't know that I noticed a whole lot. What I did notice right away was that my, um, my hair, I had like, I didn't, I could go like three days in between washing and my hair still looked good. Um, I found out why, because there's a product in here that sort of regulates this, the sebum and oil production in your hair. So that was really cool. Um, but there's a lot of really great stuff in it. Um, I used it again this morning, actually. My hair just has so much volume. I actually took some of the volume out because my hair was so huge after taking my bath today. But I want to tell you a little bit about, um, about them. This shampoo is super easy to use. I, I probably have maybe this much left where, where my finger is. The conditioner is, the only thing I, like I mentioned that I would have, that I would change is this pump. This is a very thick, buttery-like um, conditioner. It works really great, but it's hard to get out with the pump and um, you have to like, it takes forever because you have to pump it and wait, pump it and wait. So if I were gonna just make one suggestion to the company, I would say that this product needs a different delivery system because it, it's too thick. Um, and the hair mask, believe it or not, I have used a little bit sometimes and not rinsed out of my hair and just taken a little on my fingers and rubbed it in my hair just to give it like leave in moisture. And I like how it works that way too, but it, it's a much more of a, a deep, deep condition. I really enjoy it. So a couple of things that I found as far as the ingredients go. So, all right, it says, so as we age, our hair follicles shrink, our hair becomes dry, prone to breakage, leading to thin, flat hair. So um, maybe my hair problem wasn't really stemming from my thyroid, although I think it is. Um, I've also been taking some collagen supplements and different things too to help. So I think the combination of using the shampoo and the collagen was a win for me. Um, I've been doing it about a month now. I am seeing some, some strong improvements in my hair. My hair is continuing to grow. I mean, you could see like where the color's grown out here. It's growing like a weed. It just was also falling out. So anyway, so it, the shampoo and conditioner contains bamboo and hops and it cleans and it doesn't strip the essential oils that your hair needs. And the butter mask actually has five different butters in it, which I'm going to tell you about um, in a minute. And you're going to use this, you know, it says one to three times a week, but I don't wash my hair every week because I have dry hair. Now, if you have oily hair, you may want to do this three times. I'm just using this one to two times a week. Okay. So, and that, this actually is a deep hydration. It says it rebuilds and strengthens and improves your shine. Now there is burdock root, which is in both, I think the conditioner and the shampoo, which is rich in vitamin A, iron and potassium. I took notes for you guys. The hops is actually a nation, national natural conditioner and it nourishes antioxidant with an antioxidant rich oil. It smooths and thickens your hair. It also has something called salvia officinalis, which is sage. And sage is a natural astringent. It helps unclear, unclog your hair follicles and balance your oil production. And then it has bamboo in it. And bamboo comprising 70% of silica strengthens your strands and supports moisture retention. So I think maybe when you have dry hair too, if you're not retaining enough mo moisture in your hair, your hair is going to get brittle and break. So this is going to help you. Sorry about, I don't have a, I don't have something to hold this on other than my knee, um, but it's going to help you retain moisture and keep your hair looking healthy. My hair is got a lot of volume. It looks really, really healthy right now, healthier than I feel like it's been in a while. The butters, let me tell you about the butters in these. And I'm, I'm not going to tell you what each butter does, but if you're interested in that, let me know. I'm happy to tell you. I just don't want to keep the video super long. Um, so the five butters are mango butter, macadamia seed butter, kupa, kupakaku, <laughs> kupakaku butter. I don't know how to say that. Murmu, murmu butter and avocado butter. Um, it's also vegan, cruelty-free color safe, no sulfates, and no parabens. So it's good for your hair. So if you're like me, I think a lot of my viewers are over 40. Not all of us, but you know, a lot, a lot of my viewers I know are over 40. I think you might really like to try this if you're having some hair issues. Um, I would like to see 
bigger containers, I have a lot of hair, I always have. Um, even with my hair coming, some of my hair falling out, I still have so much hair. So I find that I have to use more than one pump for shampoo and for conditioner to get all of my hair covered. I'm using like five pumps, so I always go through conditioner first. So I'm really grateful that I have this too because I can kind of balance the two of them out. So I would recommend getting the whole system if you ha have the same thing as me. So I will list all of that below. I want to give a big shout out to Octoly and also Better Not Younger. I'm really, really thrilled with this product. Um, I don't want to go back to using my other shampoo. I'll probably keep this in my rotation because I really feel like it's helped my hair and I've been really stressing out about my hair. So, and my hair has been stressed. So the ends look good. Everything looks great. So very, very happy with it. So I wanted to pop in here and let you know about that. And it's not sponsored, but I did get the product for free for review from them. So thank you guys for that. And uh, in a few, in a little bit here, we're going to close out this week's vlog. So I'll see you in a minute. All right. I have a little one on me. This one wants to play with the other two big ones, but he's so tiny and he got his little um, eye scratched. Is your nose bleeding? No. I think you just got a red nose from the red food you were eating, huh? Say hi to everybody. This one doesn't have a name yet. He is so sweet. He just sits and cuddles with us. He's just a good little cute little baby. The minute you pick him up, he's purring. Okay, you wanna say hi to everybody. You wanna go hide though, don't you? He's, su he's super small. He is our littlest baby. Um, I think it's going to be, I don't know, a couple of weeks, I think, before he's com <laughs> completely ready to leave. Can you say hi? Let me see if I can get him up here. Here. There. Isn't he cute? He's such a cute little baby. Where are you going? You're going to hop down, aren't you? You're going to hop down. Yeah, he's really tiny. So I need a name. If you guys want to try to help name them, of course, when they go to their forever homes, their forever families get to name them. But I'd like to have an, a little name to just, you know, call him something. Um, he came to us with really, really bad diarrhea. Um, I mean, the worst I've ever seen. And it, it rubbed underneath his, it rubbed him raw. Um, his little tail was like basically the fur burned off his tail from how bad the diarrhea was. Um, so we treated him with antibiotics and we dewormed him and his hair's growing back. Everything looks good. He's doing really, really well right now. He's, he's trying to figure out where to go. So, um, I think he's doing good. So I just wanted to show you him because I was going back through the footage and, um, he's our little sick guy. He's been our sickest and our littlest. So I don't, um, I don't think I showed too much of this little guy. So if you guys want to come up with a name or put your little name submissions in the comments below what you think his little name should be, but he's gray and white. Him and the red one, their fur is still a little off, like something's wrong. Whereas like Hissy's fur is really soft and shiny. I don't, so here's where you can kind of see it pulled all of the um, fur off of him and that's doing a lot better too. Um, he's got spirit this little guy. He's quiet. What are you doing baby? He wants to play with his buddies and they're a lot bigger and he sometimes instigates the play but then he cries because he can't keep up with how much how rough they get with him. So when we tried separating him last night though he started crying. He wanted to be with them and then they cuddle together so cute when they are sleeping. So as long as they're calm I let them be together when they're sleeping they can be together and um, if they're getting a little too rough housey with him because they'll pin him down and bite him and stuff. Then I separate him and I pull him out until he gets a little bit bigger. He just can't hang. You think you can hang, but you're not so big yet. You're just not so big yet. So I'm going to end the vlog here, guys. I just wanted to show you this little guy. This is my little poopy boy because that's all he did was poop for days and days. My daughter came home after a couple days. She said he seemed bigger. It looked like he gained a little bit weight. He seems a little bit more solid. So I think he's getting bigger. I think he is growing. Um... He's doing, he's doing well. He's, we need to find a home for him. Little Red, um, I can't remember if I gave you guys an update in this vlog or not, but Little Red did get adopted by my mom and dad, but we will be fostering that, that kitty for a few months till they can come down here. It might not be November, till November, December. Um, luckily he seems fine with the dog. So he's still in the like little pen enclosure thing that I have for him. We're not letting the cats 
run wild yet until they're checked out by vets, and then Hissy needs a home. We do not have a home for Hissy. And then we went to the, um, we went over to where the cats are, and there's like seven more cats over there. Another one that looks just like Hissy, and the first one that got adopted, that real pretty one, one of their siblings is there, but he looks real healthy, and um, there was a calico there. Oh, gorgeous calico. I'll put a picture up here so you could see him. And Robert was able to pick him up twice, so I think if we can catch him, we could probably find that one a home too. So um, anyway, I just wanted to pop in. We're going to close the vlog out here, and I'll see you guys all next week. Bye-bye.